guys, it's Andrew the Knight, and what I've got for you guys today is another case review. This is of the SGP um, Galaxy S3 leather case folio series. Um, and this is kind of an interesting one. It's much like the official cases for the Galaxy S3, um, except that instead of replacing the battery, it actually gives you a full case, which is uh, quite, I don't know, um, I've got mixed feelings on this, um, but I'll get to that later. First of all, the feel in the hand, when I first got this out, it feels really nice. It's this sort of... It's almost like corduroy, but it's really cool. It's got this sort of like lacquered texture, if that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but it feels really, really nice in the hand, and it feels quite expensive, and yeah, I was really impressed. And on the inside, it's got this faux leather, which again, feels really nice, and the stitching's really decent around all the edges here, and it just feels good. I mean, I've had um, I've had leather style cases before, and this the inside of here probably feels the nicest, which sounds really sucky-uppy, but um, that's the truth. It does feel really good. Um, as you can see here, you get the little case, um, card case, which ironically I have a casemate thing in. Um, but that's a nice little addition. I mean, I've said it before in a few other videos. I think if you're going to have a bigger case like this, which even though this is very, very thin, it has this um, flap on the front, you may as well add um, a little bit of extra functionality for the trouble. Uh, in there, if it actually ever focuses, come on, it says, if I do I have it upside down? No. Designed by. You can't really read it on the camera. Designed by Spigen Style in California. Um, and then also in here it has a load of other things put in. Which again, it's kind of pointless, but it looks kind of nice just to have them inside the case. And it just gives it a little overall sense of quality. Um, you can see you've got this weird little flap which holds the device in. So you want to just take it and slide it in here. And then you take this flap and feed it behind the device close it up. So you can see from the front, it looks really cool. I really do like how this feels and looks, guys. It looks really nice, I think. Um, there's a little bit on um, the cutout here, you can see there's a little bit of sort of flashy stuff uh, just on the inside. So it's like, it feels like there's a tiny bit of extra leather just in the middle there, uh, which for the rest of the case is really nice quality. It was slightly weird, but um, nonetheless, it works fine. The speaker's completely unobscured. You can actually, what I've tended to do is if I'm in a phone call, I close up and actually use the case um, closed to be on the phone, which is quite a good just sort of stops things getting on the screen. Um, but I really do like this in the pocket, it's completely covered. You've got your corners exposed, as you can see there. But the thing I'm most concerned about is having the screen exposed, even with the screen shield on. Um, I've got an SGP screen shield, but it still scratches up, and um, this has helped um, give your screen shields a bit more longevity. Um, and I do, I, I don't know, there's something about sort of shutting it that's just really sort of satisfying. And I know it'll annoy some people because some people really don't like this style of case where you have to constantly open it. And um, I didn't used to like them, they started to grow on me, so um, I don't actually quite like this design. You can see around the edge here again, it's a little rough, but that's because of the um, faux leather. That's not sort of a quality thing. Uh, that's just because this leather is has got a texture to it, and that sort of just about shows on the sides. Um, you've got Spigen right in there, sort of embossed. Again, it's quite understated. I quite like the understated logos. Um, on the back, you've also got the logo there, and you can see it's sort of like a harness for the phone. So the corners are completely obscured. I'm um, sorry, completely unobscured, and it sort of holds the rest of the phone. Um, when I first got it, I didn't really like what it looks like, but it's actually sort of grown on me. Um, but I think that's definitely a preference thing. Some people I've seen, um, and they've seen me using this case, and they've thought it's absolutely disgusting. Other people have quite liked it, and have to say it has kind of grown on me. Um, Obviously, you're not going to get much protection on the back if you drop it because it's just so thin and all the corners are obscure, uh, unobscured. I don't know what's wrong with me. Unobscured, so you are going to scratch them if you drop it. Um, and you do want to be careful when you put stuff in your pocket because you can still scratch the corners. Um, but it doesn't mean you can lie on your desk like that or like that and you're protected, which is pretty much the only protection I look for um, for 99% of the time. Um, when it's actually in here, um, there is a problem where sometimes if you push the power button, it shifts the device across slightly because this flap isn't the tightest thing in the world. It's not doing it now because I'm on camera. You know how that works. But you can see if you push it a little bit, it does go. And it's not too much of an issue, but it occasionally catches you off guard. Um, and also, using the volume thing again, it sort of feels a bit weird because this thing's a little bit loose. It still works and it looks fine, but um, if you're really, really OCD with having sort of exactly symmetrical in the uh, the phone exactly symmetrical in the case, it will drive you nuts because it does just nudge a little bit when you use stuff um, in just sort of day to day. Um, so you've got a complete frame there, so if you wanted to, you could actually close it like that and you'd still be covered, which is pretty much irrelevant because you've got the front flap. Um, but yeah, it works It works pretty well. It's a little bit looser than I would have hoped in here, and using it over 
sort of a period of sort of three weeks. It hasn't actually got any looser, um, but it's still occasionally, and you can see here it's not really doing it now, and you can imagine it doesn't do it nine out of ten times, so the one time it does do it is kind of annoying, and it is quite an expensive case, I think it's about $40. Um, and there are the other ones where it's this front flap, and it just replaces the battery cover, which I think I might prefer, but at the same time, there is something quite nice about having the sides covered. I'm not sure in the hand, it just feels really nice. Um, but this really is a preference one as far as aesthetics go, because if you can cope with it sliding out slightly, you can see there it's sort of slightly misaligned. Um, then I think you're really going to like this. The quality just feels lovely, and as I said, the texture on the outside is really nice, and I do that's just really satisfying for some reason. And you do get the card functionality, which means that I can I normally just have my card with me. I don't normally carry cash, so um, I can just use this as my wallet, which is really handy. Um, as far as using it for like the camera and things, you do have to hold the flap, obviously, um, take your photos, and then uh, close it up, because if you let it drop, it tends to get in the way. You can also use this as a kickstand, which I've been doing quite a bit, actually, um, just on the train and things like that. And for the bigger screen, I tend to watch movies on this and have my MacBook off to the side doing something else. Um, so that works kind of nice, so it's a little bit of extra functionality. Um, but yeah, all in all, guys, um, I think if you want this style of case, you'll really like it. Um, I would suggest also looking at the other SGP cases that just um, replace the battery um, cover and sort of snap onto the back more um, because this one is a little bit more um, chunky than the others and again the look might not be for everyone it's sort of it, I'm still somewhat ambivalent about it I quite like it at the same time there's times when I look at it I just think yeah they should have just gone for the um, the style they've gone with um, gone for with their other cases but saying that is really nice you can see they've got some more embossing here volume button sorry all the buttons are covered um, and I think if you're looking for a small amount of protection with a slightly executive look, um, this case might be for you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, comment away if you've got any comments, if you've got any questions you want to ask about it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe. Ta-da!